So this is this is pretty incredible. Thank so you got the, the power money gets stashing, but the music yes. money starts to pick up. Yes. Me and my bed's out. Yes. Now you're watching this. So talk about watching the growth of that record grow Oof. and the type of money that that brought in. Because now everybody's streaming. It's exactly. It's perfect timing for you. So the record, so In My Bed actually got hot during COVID. Yep. So during COVID, everybody's making videos about In My Bed. Everybody's doing this about whatever. So How many people knew it that it was you? When I first heard it, I didn't know it was you. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people didn't know. Yeah. A lot of people didn't know, but then they started shazamming, then the video came out, then people were like, yo, he's really, he really does this. You know what I mean? And and before in my bed, I had another record called Love, Love Rhythm. Rhythm. Yeah. Yep. So it was like, okay, he did it. He did it once. Oh, he, he did it again. So it became that. And I structured my deal with Empire where it's not an artist deal, it's more of a partnership. So a lot of the money that I make independently comes to me. You know, so during this time, so my streams are hitting, going crazy. It's going, and and I'm still able to do shows. But if I was, if I was to, if I was with a major at the time, I would have seen way less money. You know, so again, it was a situation where I kind of bet on myself because oh, we skipped over the fact that you know, Fifty had let me out my deal. So I was yes, no longer, yes, yes, yes. Two thousand seventeen. Yeah, two thousand eighteen. So he had let me out my deal. How long was the deal supposed to be for? No, it was um I think three albums, three albums with Fifth. And you did one album? I did one. So you I just told them like Yeah, I, I told him like, listen, man, I I wanna I wanna bet on myself, you know, and I feel like um and, and during that time there was a lot of he was changing a lot with the with the label. There was he had fired everybody, so there wasn't anything really tangible for me to stay there. And he didn't mm. he didn't want me to stay there knowing that he was going through changes. Yeah. You so, never made it till you owe me Monday, so that's good. You said what? <laughs> you, you never, you never part of that series where you owe me. Oh no, no, so no, no! He made. I don't know if you remember, but he was like, "Oh, I, I owe him money." You don't remember that? Oh yeah, he oh, made, yeah. you did make it. No, you did make it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. A fact. I'll take yeah, it yeah, back. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a fact. But so, okay, so that was actually a marketing again. His marketing genius, man. So, um, he let me out of my situation. But any, if if you do any deal, obviously a label is going to put up money that they loan you to make whatever, and then you owe them back through your mechanicals. So we had a situation where he had put up about, if in four years, he had put up maybe like 250,000, 300,000 investments in terms of videos and, and shows and da 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 So he just made sure that I paid it off through my mechanicals with Empire. So it was, it's, it's really nothing, you know, it's, it's what anything. But he was like, bruh, this is how I'm going to market you. I'm going to say I want to punch you in your face at least 25 times. And I'm going to say this nigga got the number one album in the, in the country. And... But I'm gonna say I'm gonna punch you in your face and break your nose and this. So I'm like, bro, what? Why? Why? He said, trust me, bro. It's gonna work, bro. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. So he's like, yo, TMZ is gonna call you the next day. Da 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 da. And at the time, my album um, was number one on the R&B charts. But it was, you know, it, it starts off for three, four days and it could fall off. Mm -hmm. But with him doing that, it made people be like, yo, he's we he got a, a number one album. Well, let me go check this out. And it stayed number one for about another two weeks. So it was brilliant. That's how that's what actually broke love rhythm. Yeah. You know what I mean? But so I was able to pay that back off through my mechanicals and you know get out of that situation. So but it was it was dope. What's man. your mechanicals? What does that mean? So the money that you make from streams, the money that you make from um airplay, the money that you make from publishing, everything that's from Tidal, Pandora, every time you get a stream. So basically. Um, one hundred and fifty streams usually. One hundred and fifty streams equates to like one dollar. So, if you get five hundred, if you get about, it takes about seventy five million streams in total to go gold. So that's the thing. So you do the seventy five million divided by one hundred and fifty. I think it's about five hundred thousand. So that's how they break it up. So they break it up with definitely like. Getting so that's why it's so important to get your, your 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 songs on Spotify, get your songs on Apple Music. All these things are super important because you need to be on these these um playlists to get to get your streams up. So that's what it was. So I was getting whenever I make the money from that, I'd have to give a portion to him. So we had like a twenty five percent split. So he'll get twenty five percent of whatever came in until it's paid back. So that's mechanical. So when you having that conversation with Fifty, yeah. When, so he says, "This is the plan." Yeah, it's gonna help. 
But then when he's relaying his message on social media, he's not joking. Like people don't know it's a joke. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. They think it's serious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, hey, how was that for you? Like, oh, were you, people, were people okay? Like, yo, you okay? Like, were they concerned? Yeah, people just, <laughs> like, yo, bro. No, even Snoop called. He was like, bro, I'll pay your debt for you, bro. I don't want you, <laughs> I don't want you to have these problems. Like, no, I was like, bro, it's, it's good. We just playing. He's like, oh shit. Okay, cool, bro. Let's make sure you good, man. He's like, I know how fifty get, bro. I know, I know you got to see him every day too. Oh shit. But we still filming the show. Drake about to get killed yeah, quicker than we thought. Yeah, yeah. So it was, it was, it was crazy, man. Because again, it's him just doing his thing. But yeah, I had to deal with that. I was like, "Yo, you you good?" Like Jamie called me, like, "Yo, you good, bro?" Like I can give you fifty thousand. Drake from Power owes fifty. So like the mind of Fifty Cent, right? Yeah. Let's talk about this for a minute. Cause yeah. I'm sure you you've seen it. You've been around it. Yeah. How strategic? Because we see him do these things a lot. Yeah. How strategic is he as a person? Because like I said, on the outside, it just looks like, oh, 50 just being 50 again. He going off on this person, going off on that person. Mm. Everything, every, I, I knew, I realized the man was a marketing genius, bro, when he sat us all down, he sat the cast down, and this is when we were filming season two. And he was like, yo, Empire, they on Fox. They got the big bag. We can't compete with them with their, with their marketing and their promotion and advertising. We're on stars. We cannot compete but I'm going to start a beef with them that they have to mention us every time they get interviewed. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go straight for Taraji. I'm going to go straight for Terrence. I'm going to go straight for everybody and make whoever is the interviewer ask about, did you hear what 50 said about power being better and everything? So I saw how he attached himself <laughs> to a hundred million dollar promotion and it, it put us like this the pit, like, oh, what's better, power or empire? And I saw him create that. Yeah. And like, so it was like a Monday, he said, I'm gonna go sit down with, I forgot who he was. And it was went by Wednesday, it was power. And this to a point where Taraji's going crazy about fifth, Terrence is going crazy. And it was just like, wow, like you guys don't understand that this man really just is playing with you <laughs> strategically. And now we are now in competition with y'all. And every time you do something, you have to mention it. And your name is automatically attached. Automatically, yeah. because when your 50 Cent show power, he was saying that, da, 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 da. 50 Cent was said this about your show, not better being than better. So everybody's like, what show is this? Because at the time, power wasn't, people found out about power for real, like maybe season, like they didn't watch it when it was on. Mm -hmm. um, did you watch it when it was first on? Yeah, yeah. I watched it when it first started, was, but season two, I feel yeah. like that's when it that's really That's when it started. really hit. Like, yeah. so, when, that's when you went to Miami? Yeah, season two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that's, that's season two. Season three was Miami, I think. No, season two, two was Miami. Two, Miami. That was my that was my one of my first my yeah. first episodes. Wait, 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 Angela. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's when it took off. So it became that because of now we tied to a hundred million dollar marketing plan. Guerrilla marketing. Guerrilla marketing, bro. Real, yeah. By real gorilla. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there you have it.